Textures are a great way to add depth and detail to your web designs. For example, applying a metal texture to a card can give it a realistic feel. Introducing noise can create a cinematic atmosphere. Even simple patterns like dots can enhance a background and enrich your overall aesthetic. Textures are visual elements that often present as stylable patterns. When copied right or left, they fit together perfectly. In Figma, enable the tile setting in the image field property so the pattern repeats without changing size as you scale the layer. Most of the time, you will use textures together with blend modes, opacity adjustments, or masks. Just like this, you can turn a pattern into a beautiful background in three steps. Set the blend mode to overlay. Duplicate the pattern layer to increase brightness. And add an ellipse mask with a layer blur to create smooth transition in the background. Don't feel confident using mask? Watch our previous video, leave a comment if you want a tutorial about blend modes. Back to textures and how we can create them. Of course, you could go with a fully manual approach and draw every pixel exactly how you like. But that's rarely necessary. A much simpler option to download a pack from stock image libraries. Generate a completely unique one in mid-journey using the tile option. Or use a collection we've created. Find the link in the description. But to develop our skills, we will use plugins to create different textures. I recommend checking out the Noise and Texture plugin by Rodri, Hero Patterns, and Noise Grid Generator. We put a lot of effort into making this tutorial accessible and free. Your likes and subscribes make it all worthwhile, allowing us to keep sharing top-notch design content. Hit the bell to stay connected and let's keep learning together. Now take a deep breath. It's time to slow down and get to practice. We will design the cards you see on the screen using different plugins. To save time on typography and basic styles, we will start from this point. Don't worry, we've got you covered. This initial state and all final version of the cards are available for you in Figma via the link in the description, so you can follow along and repeat all steps yourself. First, install and open Noise and Texture plugin. It generates various textures with different shapes and even complex animated versions. The result will be added to the selected layer filling all available space. Start by duplicating the base layer, just a rectangle the same size as a card. Group it and select base layer. In the plugin modify the amount parameter. When it looks good, press add to layer. Next, create another layer the same size as a card. Copy the base layer, use it as a mask, and apply a linear gradient with opacity from 100% to 0. Combining this with mask gives us a smooth transition into the main background. Now create another group from the noise layer, but this time use the texture as a mask. But first, add an ellipse, place it into the group, and apply a layer blur. This step allows us to see the texture immediately after we apply the mask to it. By adding multiple ellipses with layer blue effect, we highlight the surface. Change the color of the ellipses to suit your design. Let's create another one in the top left corner and adjust the opacity of both of them. Duplicate the group with the ellipses to intensify the light effect. Adjust the layer blue and change the color to a lighter shade. Resize the shapes, making them smaller or larger, and reposition them slightly. These adjustments will make the light effects more interesting. You can even create another group with a mask and additional shapes. It's good to know you can modify a texture generated by the plugin anytime. Just find the layer it was inserted in and press Edit to make adjustments. I think we're good with that one, and it's time to move on to the Partner Hero plugin. The best thing about this plugin is that you can create your own pieces of textures, called knots, and then repeat them in the same order or shuffle them. With this feature, it's possible to create a popular pixel grid super easily. Let's create six white rectangles with different opacities ranging from 100% to 0. We'll set up 60 rows and 60 columns with an 8 pixels padding. Click Generate, and there we have it. However, it has just created 3600 elements, which makes it quite hard to operate with. 
So what we're going to do is convert it to PNG. Then extend the canvas by 4 pixels on each side while holding the common key to make a proper tile out of it. Copy it a second time as a PNG and change the image fill property to tile. Now see how it's going to scale. The size of each pixel stays the same. We're just getting more than filling the area. Good. Bring it into the base card and by pressing K we can scale the size of the pixels to match the look we want. Then exit by pressing escape and adjust the size of the layer to fit the card again. Here we go. With the same technique as before, creating a group with the textures and base rectangle as a mask, applying a gradient with opacity for smooth transition. Now create another group that will use pattern as a mask. And again add ellipses with layer blur to highlight certain areas. A couple of ellipses with a large layer blur and colors of your choice. This time let's make it more interesting by taking the pen tool and drawing an S curve with a large stroke size. Apply a layer blur to it and then instead of a white fill color, change it to black. Move it into the group with the flight mask and see the effect it gives. Add a few more ellipses with different colors and sizes. Some with darker blue, others with lighter accents. And that's it! So with just a plugin and very simple technique, we've quickly made a very good looking card. Last plugin for today is Noise Grid Generator. Let's try it out. Open up Noise Grid Generator plugin. Here you can choose the number of circles in the rows and columns. Adjust the grid gap and set dot size. Experiment with displacement of set and smoothness until you achieve a result you like. Once you're satisfied, export it. Since we don't need to keep it as individual shapes, copy it as PNG and bring it straight into the base layer. Duplicate the base layer and group it with the pattern. We will use the same approach as before, applying gradients, then creating another group with the pattern as a mask, and ellipses with layer blur varying the opacity and colors for each. Don't hesitate to add more shapes. With volumetric pattern, having a dark and lighter shades creates a better sense of depth. You can try the same technique with the pen tool and stroke here too, also combining with overlay blend mode for smoother transitions. And there you have it! We've just learned how to use different plugins to create beautiful textures that you can apply anywhere, from cards and backgrounds to buttons, numbers or text shapes. While it's great to create something from scratch, there are popular patterns that we frequently use in web design. That's why we created our own collection and happy to share it with you. In this pack you will find textures like noise, pixels, lines, dots and many more. They all made using Figma components, so you can quickly adjust patterns like color, density or shape. They function as tiles, making them easy to scale. Just add them to your environment using the link in the description and copy-paste them into your project when needed. If this tutorial was helpful, show your support with a like and subscribe. We'd love to hear how you use textures in your work. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, keep pushing your creativity forward.